from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA. Incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. As every U.S. state is now paying out a fourth stimulus check. All the incredible great news in this recording and show you how to get those incredible checks. It's a week in which we've had very turbulent times for economic recovery, and the economic recovery is not there. In fact, we'll go over the latest recordings why Build Back Better Act is going to get done and has to get done in the next 30 days. It's great news, and we have it in today's Mornings LA live on air. Then we'll be turning to the developing details about that SS300 that will raise your benefits up about another $300 more per month. Next up is the latest details about student loan debt forgiveness as the president signals he will forgive more debt, but at what amount? It's very interesting. And I have the latest today. What happened with Vladimir Putin and his debt default? Did he default or did he not? It's big because it impacts your money and this economy. Then we turn back to six stimulus, the latest stimulus package that we had talked about back in March. When Putin invaded Ukraine, what happened to the price of gasoline? What happened to the price of wheat? Did they come down? Because I told you if they didn't come down by May, well, we're heading to recession. With one day away from May, what does that mean? I have the latest details for April 30th, 2022, and what those countries are doing across the board. Are we heading into recession or are we not? I'll have the latest that signaled major twists and turns on Friday. But first, you want to become a member because those checks have landed. Derived direct deposit. Four stimulus checks have landed in every U.S. state. And over this one-hour broadcast, live on air from the shores of Santa Monica, California, I will show you how to get these incredible checks. You deserve them, and they're there for you to get. From my home to your home, from the West Coast to the East Coast, the great news is that checks are available, they're landing, and they are available for you to pounce and get. The toast is toasted, the butter is buttering, the coffee is brewing. It's a big, bold, beautiful day with the sun coming out here in Santa Monica, California. I'm excited you're here, and I'm excited for the big money at issue. Let's get ready to pounce. Let's do it, Purple Power. Let's do it, Hawks. Let's get that big money. The deliciousness starts right now. And good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day for April 30th, 2022. About to go into the month of May. And the great news is that big checks have landed. You need those checks because the recessionary concerns, the stagflation concerns, the U.S. economy sinking majorly, contraction of the GDP at issue. And the great news tonight, today, this morning, is that fourth stimulus checks are landing in every U.S. state. Well, that is exciting. Over this one-hour broadcast live on air from the shores of Santa Monica, California, we're going to show you how four stimulus checks are now landing and law in every U.S. state of the United States. It's huge. It's great. And they're big sums of money. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited you're here. Let's get to the incredible details. But first, we're going to start with the Build Back Better Act. Over this one-hour broadcast, say to the very end, we got a lot of checks to go over with you. We have a lot of checks that are law now. We have a lot of checks that are coming in the next 30 days because it's a very big month of May. And then we have a lot of economic data that's at issue. First, I want you to become a member. Go to the top of the chat and pin comment. Become a member. Get that newsletter, Monday through Friday. It has all the big moolah, as Sir Lloyd would say, in there. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. As we start the day, we are talking first about Build Back Better Act, which got a new lift this week, and that new lift signals what's happening in the month of May. Build Back Better Act will likely go to a vote by Memorial Day weekend and likely get wrapped up in negotiations in the month of May, says a new White House insider. Why? Because the at issue is that the U.S. economy is stalling up and the White House is refocusing back on the U.S. economy. We have a lot of suggestions that Sinema and Mansion negotiations have already been underway this last week with the White House that was pretty much mum about them. I didn't want to tell you what's going on, but it looks positive. Why? Because there is something that's fascinating today. 
What's fascinating today is both Republicans and Democrats believe that the U.S. economy is now stalling up. And the way that the party, any party, wins the midterm elections is they get you money. Do not, no one will vote for a party if they just promise you money but don't deliver. And this is where it gets very interesting. Because now that the economy is stalling up, both parties agree it's stalling up, both parties have to do something to get you money. And to do something, they got to do it in May. Yes, let's see why. The midterm elections is the vote, the election night is November, but no one votes on election night. Everyone votes by mail. That voting by mail would be 30, 60 days ahead of time, which means that they need to get you a check before you vote by mail. And that check by mail, that check in the mail or by direct deposit before you vote by mail would be about by August. To get a check in your hands by August, they got to make it a law by July. And to make it a law by July, they got to agree what they're doing by May. There you go. We are right back in front with an inherent deadline. And they also now say that they want to call this for a vote by Memorial Day weekend. Huge across the board. The Bill by Better Act featured on this channel over the last few months has three clusters of checks and three add-ons of checks. Those incredible clusters of checks pay a lot of money. There's about fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of checks in the Build Back Better Act, and that first cluster has hazard pay, four thousand dollars of elder care, four thousand dollars to care for young children, thirty six hundred dollars of CTC home repairs if you live in a low income community, and also free and also twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. In that first add on, a checks is twenty five thousand dollars. For the purchase of your first home, it's huge, and you deserve it. That is a little bit less than $25,000 for your purchase of your first home as the first add-on of checks to the Build Back Better Act. Then in that second cluster of checks, we have even more money. And what's in that second cluster of checks? Well, in that second cluster of checks, we have paid leave. Pay leave is you have to stay home due to sickness or illness. $7,500 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. And then if you make a little bit less, then it's a little bit less across the board. But it's W-2-1099. Then if you don't work but your son or daughter does work, they'll get the check on behalf of the home house, whole household. Thereafter comes the third, second add-on to checks, a little bit less than $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. That third cluster checks has seniors, free and for all checks, farmers checks, independent contractor checks, and a lot of other checks. And of course, that third add-on checks is those MSC checks. Now, what's important to understand is that the way stimulus works is when an economy is stalling up, people want to give you stimulus. The economy stalling up. The latest economic data that we went into the weekend shows economy stalling up. And I'll go over that data in just a second, but we have two things to go over. First, Build Back Better Act, and second, SS300. Both are dependent upon economic data. The SS300 works as the following. The President of the United States represented as president in his presidential platform that he would swap COLA for inflation. COLA is your current benchmark. It determines how much your benefits go up the next year if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. And what's at issue is that COLA came in at 5% in December, but you got cheated. While your benefits went up three, went up a little bit, a little bit five, 5% in December, and continues to go up 5% all this year, that is not what you should have gotten. You should have gotten 8%. Had they swapped that COLA for inflation, your benefits would have gone up 8%, which would be $200 more per month. Not just this month, not just this year, but a lifetime. That's how it works. The good news with SS300 is that all that Joe Biden has to do is pick up the phone and contact that Social Security head and say, swap that COLA for inflation. If he did, and inflation's 8%, you get $200 more per month. Not just this month, not just this year, but lifetime. If inflation tracks to 4% later this year, that would be another $100. That would be SS300. So it looks sort of good so far. Then what is the part of it that's problematic? It's Jay Powell. Jay Powell is head of the Federal Reserve, and his job is bring down inflation. Yeah, bring down inflation. You want inflation high, <laughs> so Joe, make the call. As we go into the month of May, it's interesting. Because a month ago, in early April, I said, I'm a little bit worried if Joe doesn't make that call to swap COLA for inflation in April because inflation may come down. Then by the middle of April, I said, I'm worried about the late part of April. Inflation may come down. Well, now that we go into May, inflation, has it gone down? Am I, no, am I still worried? It has not come down. 
so I'm no longer worried at the moment. Inflation has not come down. That means for your benefits, if Joe Biden makes that swap of cola to inflation right today, you'd lock in $200 more per month. And I still believe that inflation will track at about 4% by December. That will give you another $100 on top of that. That's SS300. So what is Jay Powell trying to do? And what will he do? Jay Powell will raise your interest rates at the May FOMC meeting in just a few days, a half basis point. And then at the next FOMC meeting thereafter, another half basis point. He's trying to bring down inflation, but is it going to work? It's not going to work. It's not going to work because the latest inflationary pressure in this U.S. economy is not caused by what Jay Powell thinks it's caused. It's caused by supply chain disruption. And how do we know that? <laughs> we know that because the economic data that came in on Friday. I told you it's coming back to Build Back Better Act. Now let's go over the economic data that impacted that impacts Build Back Better Act and also impacts your SS300 and what was it and what did it say? Economic data, corporate data, and consumer spending. Here we go. Friday we went into a horrible day in which U.S. stocks ended the month of April with the lowest numbers that we've seen in nearly a generation. The S&P ended the month of April down 6%, the worst month since the start of the pandemic, but the Nasdaq was down 10%. In fact, these are not all, in some cases, they're not only numbers as bad as since March 2020, they're numbers as bad since 1980, oh wait, 19, 2014, 2014, trying to remember by heart. The Dow was off 3%. What's at issue? Apple, Amazon, even Google. Major numbers falling dramatically. What do they say? Apple is the easiest one for you to understand. Apple said that for the quarter coming up, which is the three months coming up, not the quarter we're in now, not the quarter we just left, but the quarter coming up, it says it's going to have major problems with selling the iPhone. Why? Because it cannot get the parts from China that go in the iPhone. Apple makes some of the parts in China and puts them in there themselves, or buys some of the parts from China and puts them in themselves, and it can't get the parts. This is supply chain disruption 101. It can't get the parts. So it's going to have less Apple iPhones to sell, meaning their corporate earnings will be down, meaning it'll have less profits and less ability to hire employees. It's not alone. This is what happened on Friday. It was like a domino effect of bad reports, one after another, for corporate America. Amazon reported that the outlook for the current quarter fell short of what Wall Street is expecting. Shares of Amazon were down 12% on Friday. They said second, rev second quarter revenue forecast, which the second, second quarter is what we're in now, w should have a drop of 3% when Wall Street is expecting a growth of 7%. It expected a growth of the quarter we just left for Amazon of $16 a share. Amazon posted a $7.56 a share loss. Ouch. Then on Apple's front, this is what Markerfield Asset Management Chairman Michael Shroud said. Listen to these words deeply. The current market performance is threatening to make a transition to a longish, from a longish and painful correction to something even more troubling. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> so we're going from a long correction, which is a, the word of saying a crash, a long crash to something more troubling? What's more troubling? Lobster shorts? <laughs> Uh, a San Francisco hairstyle? Uh, what, what's more troubling than a long crash? That's scary words. Shroud went on to say, March 2020, for instance, had a very sharp decline, pandemic hit, and then a fast recovery, the V-shaped recovery, which we covered on this channel, or the K-shaped recovery, which was where rich people recovered fast and, and poor people did not. But he says, what we're seeing right now will be a creeping bear market that'll continue uh, for a while to come. Wow. The data continued to come in bad after bad. And what did not end there yet was what started the day of Friday. On Friday, the, the core producer consumption expenditure number came in. This is the PCE. This is a number that the Federal Reserve uses to gauge inflation. And guess what happened with that number? It was a miss as well. The miss was that it increased 5.2% from the year before, but Walsh expecting a 5.3% growth. And it was slightly less than the March number. This is an April number. So this is what Andrew Hunter said about the news. It said that the big stat story was that inflation is starting to ease. Excuse me? 
starting to ease. Uh, Andrew, did you see the data the week before? Andrew, did you see the data before? Inflation's not easing. Come on, Andrew. The week before the data was the CPI number. The CPI number, the data before, said the following. For the month of February to March, the price, the, the, the inflation for energy went up 11%. In one month, February to March, inflation for energy was 11% increase. That is gasoline at the pump, caused by Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. It also showed that fresh fruits and vegetables went up 3%. It showed that the whole U.S. economy for all consumer items and staples went up about a third of a percent. Yeah, inflation went up dramatically from February to March. So the inflationary number right tonight is, or today or this morning is likely more than even 8%. So the takeaway from all that data is the following. Number one, inflation is hitting harder than it was 30 days ago. Number two, if Joe Biden makes that swath and cold into inflation today, you're good. You'd lock in $200 more per month. And I think you're still good for the end of the year. For another $100, I believe that inflation will come in about 4%. Then, the data is so weak across the board that Republicans and Democrats both have to do a stimulus package. Excuse me? <laughs> what's going on? Let me explain what's going on. With the midterm elections around the corner, this is what's going to happen. Every political party has to get money to your wallet before you vote. Why? Because electorates now understand no one's going to vote for someone based upon a promise. They have to see you actually doing something. And seeing you do something is actually getting you money. To get you money, they have to tee this up by the month of May. If the Democrats pass the Build Back Better Act without a single Republican vote, the Republicans will lose in the midterm elections. The Democrats will say, hey, the Republicans got you no money. We got you money. And they will get reelected. If the Democrats try to do the Build Back Better Act and it fails, the Republicans will say, hey, that's the party in control. They got you nothing. Vote them out. Then, if both parties get something out to you, guess what? They'll both claim a victory lap, and that will both solidify their positioning for going into the midterm elections. That's why I believe that the midterm elections will have bipartisan support to get you money, and I believe that the negotiations of that money will line up and get solidified in the month of May. Very interesting across the board. Now, when we talk about the getting money out to you from the federal government, in the case of the states, it's the same situation. Because <laughs> governors are up for re-election in the midterms, and state senators and state representatives are up for re-election in the midterms. And guess what? They got money, and they got to get you that money as well, and they got to tee it up right as well in May. Let's go over the breaking details on that front, which is really, really interesting. States have money. You don't see it because it's not in your wallet yet, potentially. And those states have that money, and they need to use the money. And they will decide how to use the money if they haven't already in the month of May. I told you the month of May is going to be a big month. Let's go over the data and what's going on right now. It starts back in 2020, when then Steve Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary, and Nancy Pelosi were negotiating what was supposed to be the second stimulus package. Steve Mnuchin said that the states have a lot of money. Nancy Pelosi said they do not. Steve Mnuchin said they all, they do, and we're going to do a provision called use or lose. If the states have the money, they got to return it or, or use it. Use it, send it out to the citizens, or lose it, return it back to me. Suddenly, miraculously, you know what happened in December 20, suddenly states said, Oh, wow, we found all this money. <laughs> where, was, where was it hanging? Behind the lobster shorts? Yeah, they found some money, and suddenly they sent it out. They did not want to lose it. So where are we right tonight, this morning, this day? Where we are today is that Janet Yellen, your Treasury Secretary now, and Joe Biden has inserted that same provision into the third stimulus. Use or lose? Let me give you the lead up to where we are right now. States under the third stimulus package passed in early 2021 were given a fortune. They were given a fortune by the federal government under the third stimulus package. Every state, whether red or blue, Republican or Democrat, rich or poor, small or large, every state was given the same amount of money based upon the number of residents. Now, you may not have seen that money because it's still in their bank accounts. <laughs> it's still in their bank accounts. What's happening? It's as though Janet Yellen has sort of tipped over their, their, their feet and say, oh, by the way, don't forget your use or lose date. And that lose or, do, lose or use date 
is looming. It's December 2022. Use or lose, what happens? Every state will use the money. No state is returning the money back to the federal government. Every state has money. And every state will use the money. And for them to use the money, they have to determine how they're going to use it by May. There you go. So what happened? Let me make something clear right now. This money is state money and state bank accounts. And two weeks ago, when I first announced this check, this first check, uh, well, not first check, this check called Check D, we had two states that were doing Check D at the time. Within 24 hours, 48 hours, we went from two states to 20 states. Today, we have 24 states. By the end of May, you're going to likely have 40 states doing Check D. It is a four stimulus check that comes from your states be using third stimulus funds under the use or lose provision. Which states are doing it? How are they doing it? Let's go over the details starting right now. The states of the 24, half of the states have determined that they want to use it and have already passed a bill and has already become a law. The other half of the 24 states have proposed a bill. But here's what you need to know. In the case of states, it's very different than the federal government. When the state governor, for example, proposes legislation, it gets passed. It, you can take it to the bank because why? His or her party is generally the party in control. If the governor is the governor of one political party, he's generally also in control of the state assembly and the state senate. So if the governor proposes something, you can take it to the bank. It's going to get done. So what do those checks look like? How do you get those checks? How much are those checks? How much are those check Ds? They're all in the membership newsletter, but I'm going to go over those checks and how they work after the commercial break. That's why you want to become a member. These are check Ds. But guess what? We're not just done there yet because every single state of the United States has a forced to most check right now. And they have a check sent out from Joe Biden. Joe Biden has sent out a check from check A. Joe Biden has sent out a check from check B. And Joe Biden has sent out a check from check C. As of today's recording for April 30th, 2022, the great news is that every single U.S. state has a forced stimulus check for you. And I'm going to show you how to get that forced stimulus check. It's coming up after the commercial break. But first, as we go into the commercial break, make sure you become a member because you don't want to miss a single check. I told you these checks are changing by the minute. We went from no checks for check D, then two, then 20, then 24 checks. Every day I'm finding you checks, and that's why you want to become a member and stay a member. Go to the top of the channel, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Then go under the video and also find the link there. Then get that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over those incredible checks that every single state has as a forced stimulus check. Then we'll be turning to that student loan debt forgiveness. Whoa, that is seven stimulus. Countless viewers are sending me beautiful, kind messages saying, thank you, Allied, for your seven stimulus coverage of student loan debt forgiveness. I've now gotten thousands of dollars of student loan debt forgiven. I'll show you how to get it as well. Then we'll be turning back to that six stimulus. It's caused by Putin. It is that alliance of Germany, France, and also the United States. What's the latest update on that? I'll have more. And then in the final minutes of this video, I have my commentary of what you need to know to get this big money. But first, become a member. The link is at the top of the channel, pinned comment. As we go into a big second half of this day, we got a lot coming up. Stay at the very end. A lot of checks, big commentary, and more checks thereafter. As the toast is toasting and the butter is butter and the cough is brewing, big money is lying down. And I'll show you how to get that big money. Stay with me. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Mornings Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. 
Join LLA Daily for the excitement of the new LLA Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LLA at 9 a.m. Home LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on an April 30th, 2022, live broadcast in Santa Monica, California. I welcome Thou and DiCarla that became members during the commercial break. I hope you did as well. Go to the top of the chat in the pinned comment, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP to get that incredible newsletter. In the second half, we're going to go over these big checks that have landed from your states and the big checks that have landed from Joe Biden by direct deposit. These are four simple checks. And I'm going to show you how to get them. It's so simple, as Carol said in a recent video on Evening's Ally. Then I'll go over the other checks that could be coming thereafter. Huge checks. The exciting details of other checks thereafter. It's a big day with a lot of money. And I want you to get all this incredible money. And where does it start? And where does it end? It ends right here. And the details of it start right now. It's a beautiful day here along the coast of Santa Monica, California. And the great news is that States have now sent out for stimulus checks, and more will be doing it. One of the things I want to make very clear that I haven't think I've made clear in the recent days is that when we talk about the forced stimulus checks, they sometimes are funded by the federal government, but all the forced stimulus checks are sent out to you from your state. So the person who's actually sending you the check is this, always the state, but the person who's funding it, sometimes the state is funding it, sometimes the federal government is funding it. I'm going to go over the details of that starting right now. First, over about a week and a half ago, I had told you that two states were giving out state stimulus checks from third stimulus, use or lose. As I said before the commercial break, states have a lot of money left over from third stimulus. They all got to use it. They all will use it. They ain't going to lose it, and they're going to spend it on you. And the first two states to announce that they were going to do four stimulus checks were... Maine and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania announced a $2,000 stimulus check and also Maine. Now, it's important to understand is when they announce a check, it happens. It absolutely happens. It's not the case in the federal, case of the federal government. This is the states because the governor is usually in the controlling party. Whatever the governor, he or she wants, it gets passed. That was on Thursday. And that day, one viewer in Tennessee said, but there's nothing in Tennessee. And I said, give us some time. <laughs> and within 48 hours, we went from two states to 20 states. Yes, in 48 hours, we went from two states to 20 states. In the last 48 hours today, we have added four more states. It's my projection that by the end of May, we'll be upwards of 40 states. Where are the 24 states right today? The 24 states are split among about basically half of them with a law and half of them with a proposed law. Now, remember how what I just said, I want to say it again, is that they propose a law, you can really just take it to the bank. It's going to become a law. It just takes a certain amount of time. Now, what do these checks look like in those 24 states? 90% of the checks generally are stimulus, pure, hard, cold cash checks. And the eligibility is the same as a third stimulus check. Single individual, 75000 or less. Married couple, 150000 or less. And yes, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or wearable benefits, you can get it as well. Direct deposit or otherwise in the mail. That's about 90% of the checks. About 10% of the checks have a more restrictive quality to them. Let's say they're just for hazard pay. Or let's say they change the income qualification. Or let's say it's for a certain class of group of people. That's about 10% of the checks. And the last 10% of the checks are for are not pure checks. They are um, they are refund type checks. So basically, if you go to file your tax return, sometimes it's 2020, they did it as law or they did it as 2021, then you get a refund or you get credit on the tax return. Let's say the tax return had zero uh, obligations to pay. Let's say the, the, the net on the tax return was zero. 
then you apply this refund. Let's say it's $500. Then you get a $500 refund check. Very, very simple. Remember, if you're on benefits and you don't have to, if you don't normally, because you're in benefit status, have to file a tax return, you can still voluntarily file a tax return. To learn what your state has, go in the membership newsletter. You want to go into that membership newsletter because it is voluminous. The membership newsletter currently features all 24 states. And as more states become a law, then our more states propose what they're doing, then they get added to the newsletter. The newsletter features each of those 24 states, explains to you what they're doing, how they're doing it, what's the qualifications, whether it's law or whether it's proposed law. So get that incredible newsletter today, and that is your check D. Again, that is your check D. An average of $2,000, a forced almost check, where the funds come from your state. This is the user lose the remainder of third stimulus. All right. In addition to that forced stimulus check, there are other forced stimulus checks. I never want you to think just about check D and forget about check A, B, and C. <laughs> because obviously, A, B, and C came before check D. Every single state, I'll say that again, every single state has a forced stimulus check. It's incredible great news. And with that, I'm going to go right into check A. Check A is in every U.S. state. It is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check. It became a law by Joe Biden. Joe Biden did this by executive action. He took a provision out of the Build Back Better Act, out of that second cluster, for you, made it law, and has now provided it to the states for them to give you the check. What is this check? Again, it is check A. Let's go over the details right now and how you get it. It is a $6,500 check to $12,000. It's a for stimulus check made law by Joe Biden by executive action. What's the income qualification? Same as a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you can get it. And if you're on benefits, oh boy, you can get it. SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits, RB. It's a homeowner's weatherizing grant check. How do you get check A? By direct deposit in your account first. You go up to the membership link, you go up to the top of the video or under the description and become a member. Number two. You get that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. Get that membership newsletter, and then go right into the first few lines to find Check A. It'll tell you more about that Check A, the Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check, and then it'll give you a link. You go right into the link, which is the nationwide website for the federal government for Check A. Then you choose your respective state, like Mississippi, and choose the Mississippi Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check, and then pounce, apply, and then get it by direct deposit. Ah, oh, it is huge. It is great. Imagine how much wonderful money that is. $6,500 to $12,000. Congratulations to all the incredible viewers who have gotten that check A. Again, check A, a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Check B, a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state as well. The only difference is, look at this incredible sums of money. Oh my goodness, it's fifteen dollars to $80,000 of four stimulus checks. Average view of the channel is getting $66,000 to $80,000. This is another four stimulus check, a landing by direct deposit. Joe Biden made law, executive action, but it's administered by the states. How do you get this check? Similar to check A. Become a member, then open that newsletter. Go into the newsletter and go down until you see check B. Then there'll be a link to go into the national website to apply. You'll see your state, let's say Oklahoma. Click the state of Oklahoma, and then it goes you, routes you into the state's application. Pounce and apply. And once you apply, you will get a notification if you're approved shortly thereafter, and then funded generally about a week after, but it's slowing down the rounding times because a lot of people have been applying. Get that incredible check B, available as a force check in every U.S. state. Now, Let's go to check C. Check C is incredible. And while check C is not really a forced stimulus check, it's really a third stimulus check, it is available in every U.S. state. And it's for renters. Oh, boy, what great news. It's for renters and homeowners. Check C is a beautiful MSC check that is available for renters and homeowners and is available in every U.S. state. How do you get this incredible check, and what's at issue? First, it's about $2,000 a month over 12 months. Number two, 
It is available everywhere. And number three, how do you get it? Let's go over the details. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority, your state hall, and your state housing authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. There are three things you must do. You must reach out to, well, let's hold it right there. Six places? No. If you're a member, you're going to have the nonprofits as well to reach out to. That's an additional about six other places. So you're going to have about 12 to 15 places to reach out to. Reach out to all 15 places because more money. Yes, you can get money from all of them. Put multiple applications in the file. Oh, boy. Get those multiple rounds. But do about a month. Do about a whole year. Get that membership newsletter. Go into that membership newsletter. Go right down to check C, and it'll give you the details. Rely on those nonprofits because, boy, those nonprofits pay those massive sums of money in every U.S. state. Go get to those nonprofits. Get this money right today. You deserve it. What are you doing? Renters, homeowners, every U.S. state, for stimulus check, but really funded by third stimulus. Get it right today. Average viewers' channel's gotten 45000 Do it today. You don't wait. This is your check C. Huge. There's a check in every state. Go get it today. How do you do it? Become a member. Go to the top of the chat, pin comment. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Become a member today. Then get that newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You have a check in every U.S. state, and you deserve every check. Go get it. Do not wait. You have a check A. You have a check B. You have a check C. And you have a check D. And get it across the board. Do not wait. Now, my commentary earlier in this video starts right now. Two anecdotes that happened in the last 24 hours. The importance of becoming a somebody. When you get a check A, B, C, or D, you feel so great. You just feel wonderful. You watched a video. You found a YouTube channel. You became a subscriber. You became a member. And then suddenly, you got 12 months of rent, said one viewer in a beautiful, nice message overnight on Facebook, private messaging. So thank you, Ally. I'm a new member, and I just got 12 months of rent. I really want to thank you. I want to thank you for the channel. I really feel wonderful. There's nothing a viewer feels better about that when you listen to a video, you learn, and you earn, and you feel so good. That is when you become somebody. But let me explain to you what a nobody is. We have two anecdotes about this, and they start both right now. The first one was Evenings Out Light last night at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tonight's going to be a great show. Just tape. Do not miss it. It's 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time tonight. But let me tell you what happened last night. I said during the Evenings Out Light video last night, that states are doing check D. When we got to the videos part where we're going over check D, there was one viewer said, is there a check D in California? And another viewer said, no, there's not. And the first viewer said, thank you. I didn't think there was. And the first viewer said, yeah, there never was a check D and there never will be a check D. Their exchange went back and forth, back and forth in the live chat for about 10 minutes. A lot of comments almost upwards of 20 comments about no check D in the state of California. Meantime, what was also happening? In that live chat were three people from California, two viewers and myself. Well, no one of the 500 people in the live chat said to those two people that said there's no check D in California to zip it. Why? Because there is a check D in California. Yeah, there is. Actually, there are check Ds in California. California has done one for stimulus check and is doing a second for stimulus check on the state level. <laughs> I'm not done there yet. So there's two check Ds in California. Then California has county check Ds, which I don't even cover on this channel. And California also has city check Ds, which I don't even cover on this channel in California. So there's more than one check D in California. What's important to understand is that those two people that were having this no, no, no exchange were saying things that ultimately people in California in the live chat could have seen and thought that there was nothing. Those people who said there was no checks in California are nobodies. Why are they nobodies? Because they like to say there's nothing, that there's no money. People love to say there's no money because they love being nobodies. But along the way, there's some people who want to become somebodies, and that's you. Let me give you the other example that happened this morning. This one's a little humorous, but it's also a little bit strange. 
It started on early mornings, LA this morning, before sunrise, on a Saturday morning. We think that everyone wakes up with the coffee and the, the French toast and the missing bacon. <laughs> You're all starting the day really good. And then I saw this. Then I saw this. Suddenly, someone in the live chat said, when we got to this section of the video, said, well, in Pennsylvania, there is no money for anyone. Very blanketing statement. There's no forced stimulus money for anyone in Pennsylvania. And I said, uh, <laughs> I gotta laugh. You know why I'm gonna laugh? Because one of the wonders of YouTube is when you have your phone, when you have your phone, you can talk into your phone with that little button that says push and it, it, it types when you talk. Uh, here's, here's something I learned this morning. The phone recognizes the words Purple Patrol beautifully, never mistypes it. <laughs> so this, let me tell you what happened. The viewers in the live chat saying, there is no money for anyone ever in Pennsylvania for a forced stimulus. I got my phone and I pushed that little button, microphone. I said, Purple Patrol, Purple Patrol. <laughs> I set out the alarm. I just kept on seeing it five times. The sole screen got, the live chat was flooded with 20 Purple Patrol <laughs> words. It's great. You should try it as well because you'll be surprised how well the phone recognizes when you say Purple Patrol. The viewer then sort of froze up. <laughs> I said, there is a check D in Pennsylvania. Obviously, because I've covered it on this channel for two weeks. The viewer then went to the nuance. The viewer said, well, it hasn't been signed into the law just yet. And there never will be a forcible check in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, I said, well, first of all, <laughs> Governor Wolf in Pennsylvania says he's doing it. And if he says he's doing it, it's happening. Uh, and because his party will get it done in the state legislature. But if you really want to debate about that, let me remind you, in Pennsylvania, you have check A and check B. You have other checks in the state of Pennsylvania for similar checks. Guess what that viewer then said? The viewer then said, well, that is just for homeowners. There's no renter's checks in Pennsylvania. I said, then the check C. <laughs> It was like I was pushing the person against the ropes in the octagon of the WWE. <laughs> like, get out. There's nothing. Yeah, there is something. Oh, well, then it's only for homeowners. No, there's also stuff for renters. Then the viewer said, well, there's nothing for homeowners. There's nothing for non-homeowners and non-renters in the state of Pennsylvania. I said, you know what? You just love being a nobody. <laughs> you just love being a nobody. That is an example of someone who loves being a nobody. Loves saying there's no money. Started by saying there was no money at all, which there was. <laughs> then saying that there's no money for renters, which there is. And then once you confront them with all that, then they're trying to find, well, there's no money for people who have uh, purple orchids on sets. Yeah, well, maybe they don't, because I'm in California. I don't qualify for Pennsylvania for symbols. <laughs> it's always the abilities of you and I. But today we learned a new ability. The phone, when you're talking to it, just say purple patrol very quickly. What is the takeaway? The takeaway is that it is such a warming feeling you will feel when you become a somebody. It is so warming to your heart and your soul when you watch a video and you take notes, you become a member, you listen to the videos, you pounce as a purple hawk, and then you get 12 months of rent. You get the massive sums of money that viewers have gotten. I've been doing these videos for a long time and I know where the money is. And no one is going to tell you nobody when you're a somebody. These are somebodies. These are somebodies. These are somebodies. These are somebodies. These are people who are really more than somebodies. They're wonderful people. These are all somebodies. These are somebodies. And you know who's also somebody? You. You are a somebody. You never let a nobody rain on your parade. And you never let nobody take it down. Now, who's also somebody? Chef John Meyer is a big somebody because guess what? He got $9,000 of student loan debt forgiven this week, and other people did as well. They sent me beautiful messages. The latest details on the student loan debt forgiveness is really getting exciting. Let's go over the details right now. First, Joe Biden said the following comment on Thursday in the Oval Office. I'm not considering $50,000 of student loan debts, but I'm in the process of taking a hard look at whether there'll be additional debt forgiveness. So far, the president has forgiven student loan debts for... Individuals who became disabled after graduation. Then, people who went to work in the nonprofit or public sector after graduation. Then, he took student loan debts due for May and rolled them over to, to uh, September. Next, 
He said, if debts are in default, I'm taking them from default to good standing. Then the big one. He said, if your debts were procured by fraud against you by your university, you're going to for they're forgiven completely. Whoa. So the president's not doing $50,000. I think he's going to do $10,000. That is what a lot of insiders say. $10,000 would wipe out $321 billion of student loan debts and eliminate debt for 12 million Americans. It's huge. Great news across the board. What's important for you to know is that these big sums of money are available. And how do you get them? You become a member. You go to the top of the channel pin comment. We have a lot of great videos today. Home LA is coming up in just about uh, 30 minutes from now. Home LA will have the routing times for these four small checks. A lot of people ask about that. So don't miss that show. It's coming up in about 30 minutes. Then you have Afternoons LA at 1 o'clock, Afternoons LA at 3 o'clock, and then a brand new Evenings LA at 5 o'clock tonight. Uh, from the shores of Santa Monica to the shores of the Black Sea, from the West Coast to the East Coast, the great news is that four stimulus checks are available in every state. And more states will be doing checks. There will be more checks. Because remember, my job is to find you checks. Every day, every week passes, and I find you more checks. I found you the check A on March 31st. I found you, and when it became law on March 31st. I found you the check B when it became law on March 4th. On March 4th, I announced it to you. And I found the check D when it became law just a few days ago. That's why you want to become a member. Go to the top of the channel, pin comment, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. We're having a big day. We're just getting started. I'm so excited you're here. Stay informed, stay focused. Stay, join me next on Noontime and stay with me for a major live special broadcast in prime time of Evening's LA tonight at 5 o'clock. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.